Hello everybody, Brian here. I'm going to go over what I picked up for the past few weeks. Start off for the Game Boy. I picked up a dollar game. It's Penguin Wars. I have no idea what this is like. I think I think it's a puzzle game. But it has a penguin throwing what looks like a dragon ball on top of a seal. That's pretty neat. Picked up JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for the Dreamcast, another Dreamcast fighting game. Very, very common, very, very popular and common were fighting games on the Dreamcast. And Intrigues me because I'm watching the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure anime, which is going on, and it's pretty good. But I think this is based off of the manga, I'm not sure. Picked up some Blu-rays. Um, of course, the Disney movie that started the whole res renaissance in the 90s, and that's The Little Mermaid on Blu-ray. Had to pick this up. Also, for five bucks, I've never seen this movie, and that's Gremlins. Uh, I always it was always coming on as on TV when I was younger, but I never actually sat down and watched it. Picked up a whole mess of 3DS games. First, I picked up the limited edition fa for Haku Ki Haku Oki Memories of the Shinsegumi, and this is like a a, a, uh, a virtual novel, um, from what I understand. And it, had, it came with a cool collector's edition, which came with a fan, like a folding fan, and a some towels, which is kind of weird. Also picked up, Jesus, um, another Etrian Odyssey game, and that's Etrian Odyssey Untold, the Millennium Girl. And this is a retelling and enhancement of the first Etrian Odyssey game. So pick that up. Glad to have that. Picked up also, I've been looking for this for a while, um, Shin Megami Tensei Devil, Devil Survivor Overclocked, a remake of the PS2 version, I think. Also, Rune Factory 4. I've never played a Rune Factory game. From what I understand, it takes elements of Harvest Moon with an turn-based RPG. So that's kind of cool. I love turn-based RPGs. And the big one yesterday, Pokemon X. So that's my 3DS pickups there. For the Wii U, my one I was most excited about was the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD limited edition with the Ganondorf figure. And it's a really cool looking figure. Um, this is my favorite version of Ganon, actually. Or I should say Ganondorf. Um, and the last battle of this game, if it's anything like I remember, um, this game I'm going to be playing for the foreseeable future, anyway. I just started down about an hour in. So. I still have a ways to go. I'm doing it on hero mode, so that should keep me occupied longer. For those who don't know, hero mode, there's no healing items. You don't have to heal through fairies or potions. And I picked up some magazines. The newest issue of Nintendo Force came out, and it's a dual cover with Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. So, always nice to have magazines. I love print media. And Nintendo Force is a very good magazine. And two issues of Retro Gamer. I picked up issue 119, which I don't know if I showed off before. It's been a while. Um, this one has loved it because it has Castlevania 4, one of my Super Castlevania 4, one of my favorite Super Nintendo games, and probably my favorite Castlevania. And also Retro Gamer issue 120 with Shadowrun on the front. Um, I only played the Super Nintendo version, so I, um, <clears throat> this is actually about the Super Nintendo version, so that's good. And another thing, I went to see Legend of Zelda, tw Legend of Zelda Symphony of the Goddesses, the second season, um, the second quest, I should say, which, for those who don't know, I went to see Legend of Zelda Symphony of the Goddess back in October. July of 2012, and they came back to Pittsburgh again, and they played the second quest, which they added some more um, tracks to their playlist, um, included a new Wind Waker track with the HD version of the game shown, a uh, whole, uh, whole symphonic section for, for a playlist for Link's Awakening, which was cool. Um, I, I picked up a t-shirt 
which I don't have, but you'll eventually see it when I wear it, um, and a big poster. So now I have a poster from the first quest and a poster from the second quest, and they're really nice artwork. I like the second one a lot better. It has like a a sword, uh, the, the master sword in the stone. The first one's kind of like a haze over the Hyrule symbol. But that was very, very awesome, awesome concert, and I loved it a lot. I love Legend of Zelda music. I love symphony music. I love video game music in general. If you ever get a chance to go to the Legend of Zelda Symphony of the Goddesses tour, um, give it a shot. It's, 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 it was a great experience. So that's everything I got. I hope everybody had a great week of finds and pickups for gaming or whatnot, or just enjoying the uh, fall time with the leaves coming down. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.